Moderna chose to expand in San Francisco and Seattle, and it tells me the draw here is the city's talented workforce, a workforce that the Downtown Seattle Association says is coming back to the downtown core. There has been a lot of investment to rejuvenate downtown Seattle. In February, about 47% of folks were spending three or more days in the office. Uh, relative to that same month in 2019. John Schools is the president and CEO of the Downtown Seattle Association. We're going in the right direction and we're going in the right direction when it comes to return to office as well. He says the data for the last three months shows a rise in workers returning to the office, which is almost half the workers that we saw in 2019. A year ago, we had 140 tent encampments on the streets of our greater downtown. Today, we've got about 10 or 12. Uh, so crime is going down. The number of folks that are suffering outside is also decreasing. With the opening of the convention center, Comic-Con bringing tens of thousands to the area, companies are moving in. We want to be where the talent is. Moderna announced on Friday it's expanding to San Francisco and Seattle. They're moving into a building on Stewart Street and plan to hire up to 220 people. And we are looking for software engineers. We're looking for technical program managers and we're looking for product managers. They're going to help us build the capabilities that will enable Moderna to bring to market our medicines. And it's not just biotechnology companies moving in. It's vibrant. It's innovative. It meets it meets exactly where Moderna is in our growth. Real estate analyst CBRE found that in Seattle, some unused office buildings are being converted into life science properties. And we need to recognize we're competing with other places around the country, other downtowns that were in a similar spot. But I think Seattle's best days are ahead of us. We've got great assets and a lot to look forward to this summer. Moderna tells me that it will have an open house on April 4th where they'll start hiring people and from there will rapidly scale up their workforce. Here in Seattle, I'm Kristen Goodwillie, King 5 News.